All right, today on the hottest day in recorded history in my area, I'm standing in a metal shop, but I don't care. I'm excited to build this net. Now this net is something that was an idea that was brought up by Jesse from WashingtonFlyFishing.com. Thank you for the suggestion, Jesse. I am going to bring this thing to life and it is also being brought to life by some Total Boat Epoxy. Thank you Total Boat for sending this my way. I won't let you down. Now, I'm gonna fire up the steam thing. It's 110 degrees in here. So what you see here is the offcut from a previous net build, which I will show you a picture of right now. That net turned out absolutely gorgeous, and this is gonna be equally cool because I'm going to take these pieces, which you're seeing me cut on the chop saw right now, and then I'm going to flip them inside out to make a, I hate using the term river. I'm gonna use a creek. My, it's gonna be a creek net handle, and we're gonna go ahead and run some epoxy net. First, I gotta clean up this edge and then put a form together. Then I'll pour the epoxy and we'll get on to the next step. My two molds have set up, looking pretty good. I got silicone dried on the inside and everything's pushed down nicely. So we're good to go. You can actually even see the bottom of the mold right there. Pretty tight live edge crack but I think it's gonna be really cool. Let's go ahead and do the blue. So I am loving how this looks right out the gate and I am excited to see how it ends up once it's dry. The forms are holding up really good. This, the overflow is okay because obviously I have to joint this down and, and get it to size anyways, and then we'll cut out our shape for the handle. But right now, while this is setting up, I'm gonna head over and actually start making some strips for the net itself. It is a day later, and my net handles are dry. Look at this thing. Boom! The thing is gorgeous. We have blue. We have a semi-transparent green. Right now, I need to see if I can actually delaminate these from acrylic. I was kind of stupid and I didn't put in the uh, yes. release agent. So, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, crappy chisel to the rescue. Man. Now, I also have my little net handle template. This guy is gonna be just a perfect little grip. And that's gonna go on here. Now, it is pretty short, pretty small stuff, but that's okay. So with the net hoop material, placed in the steamer on little racks, it's time to set my timer. So that is 23 minutes for this one and we'll be ready to bend on the form to preform it. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Because I'm an idiot, I forgot to mark center. So we're gonna say, and a half. We'll mark the center point to align with the center here. Now, let's do this. All right, so it's been a couple of hours since I removed the pieces from the steam box, put it into the form, clamped it, and we're, now we're looking really good. So the next step here is to pull the clamps off, remove the form, put down wax paper so nothing sticks. I even have some aluminum foil. We'll see. I mean, if it sticks to it, it doesn't matter. It's all good. And then I will glue it and clamp it. So that means Gorilla Glue. And then we are on to, well, pulling it from the mold. So let's, let's do it. Look, like this is already setting up. I'm not gonna lie, that was the most frantic glue up I've ever had. The Gorilla Glue stuff, it sets up really fast in the heat. Duh, it's 85 degrees in here. That, that made the pucker factor high, and so high that I kind of pulled an idiotic move. I, I mentioned earlier that I was gonna lay down, you know, wax paper and stuff to keep it from going to the table. Well, that's great, except for I didn't put any tape around the mold, the form itself. So, yeah. Fingers crossed I can get it free. Please come out. 
<laughs> yes! So if you're trying to make something totally new and different, eh, you might as well go big. And so when I presented this to the boss lady, my wife, she's like, eh, it's not exactly like exploding with awesomeness yet. I've got to scheme. And we came up with the idea to take these little channels of resin that just kind of end at the hoop and take it and run the same pattern so a, a basic like routed pattern all the way around the hoop itself now not just in like a straight line i'm going to try and mimic this look throughout now that's going to take a lot of epoxy pores but anything worth doing is worth doing right and it's going to be a one-of-a-kind piece so here we go As you can see, I might have royally screwed up a beautiful net, but that's okay because we're experimenting and you gotta do that kind of stuff. Resin is pretty viscous. It likes to go wherever. That makes it a little bit challenging when I will have a round object. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue to cordon off sections and hold it flat and pour that section. Here we go. So for the record, I have no idea what I'm doing. And that's, that's it. Round one was a total success. By the look of it, I got a good pour. And now it's on to this. So I modified this one because it's a little bit of a dish shape on the side of this net. So I have actually built a dam out of hot glue. Will it work? I hope so. So it has been four days since I routed the channel. Now that was of course filled with small segments of pour it, wait a couple hours, do another section, pour that, wait, and so on. But we got it done. We're off and running. So I just want to give a huge shout out again to Total Boat for hooking me up with the resin for this build. This is something I've never seen before and so far it looks rad. So it's time to sand and finish sand and sand some more and get it back to where it was four days ago. I think this is hashtag water pop. It's like Blacktail Studios. If you don't know Blacktail Studios, you should probably go check it out. Cam over there is amazing with resin. Works wonders. All right, so we are sanded up to 1200 grit and what is next? Well, you might have been asking, wait a minute, didn't he need to route a channel around here for the string to go through? That would be normally the idea. Unfortunately, that would eat up a lot of the cool little creek channel that I put around here. So I had to come up with a creative solution. That means leather staples. These are stainless leather staples that will connect the net hoop on the inside as traditionally you would see it. Just you won't have it going through. Is Have I ever seen this done before? No. Uh, will it work? I sure hope so. 
Uh, we'll find out. And I think it's going to look good. Now on the end, as you can see, I'm drilling out for a brass connector. This will allow a lanyard to be connected to it and that pivots so it's really easy to maneuver the net. With that installed, it's on to finish. All right, quick breakdown on the finishing process. I have a rattle can clear gloss that is really heavy duty. And now I'm going to spray a light coat initially, do a quick sand job with 1200 grit, and then it's on to heavier coats. I'm gonna hang it up between sets, let it set completely, sand again, and repeat. Beautiful. Let's do a close up. All right, so the build is complete, the finish is dry, and this thing is gorgeous. So figured maple throughout, I could not be happier with how it turned out. I mean, we got blue total boat epoxy resin running through the entire thing, including the hoop. Never seen that done before. It is truly one of a kind, handmade, all the way around, a little tributary and through the handle. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Thank you total boat for throwing the epoxy my way. I absolutely loved how it performed and yeah, I can't wait to use it again in future net builds. So thank you so much for that total boat. And thank you for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And see you on the next one.